Good evening everyone, my name is Lalit Soni and in this episode of In News, we will be discussing about Luna 25. It is Russia's uh, lunar mission to moon. We will discuss why this particular mission crashed. Okay. So, it was, uh, we will discuss the news and then we will talk about Luna 25, its objectives and few specifics of this mission and then we will talk about what is soft landing. So, it is an operation which is performed while we are trying to land a lander on moon's surface without any huge impact. Why struggling with the soft landing? There are many nations which are struggling with this particular um, maneuver. Russia reached the moon earlier than India. We know that India has launched Chandrayaan 3 before Russia, but Russia has reached before India. Why is that? And then we will talk about reason for lunar crash. Okay. Then we will discuss this particular phrase 15 minute of terror. Okay. And then we will see a practice question for prelims and then conclude the session. Okay. So it was in news that Russia's Roscosmos has reported Luna 25 has crashed on the lunar surface. Okay. It was supposed to land, but it could not land successfully and it crashed on the lunar surface. It highlights the risk involved in the soft landing okay soft landing as i told you it is a maneuver performed by space agencies in order to land on moon without a huge impact okay even though we have performed a landing nearly 20 times including humans on the board but still we are not must yet we have not yet mastered the art of soft landing okay so let's see so, what is Luna 25? So, it is a lunar mission which included a lander. It was supposed to land on the south pole of moon as uh, we know that even Chandrayaan is aimed to do the same thing. Okay. It was launched on 10th of August 2023. It is also designated as Luna Globe Lander. Okay. It is roughly a size of a small car. So, what are the objective of Luna 25? So, when we talk about any lander on any kind of uh, extraterrestrial body, mostly our concern is the composition of the that particular area. Okay. So, in this particular uh, mission, we will be talking about polar regoliths. Regoliths are basically nothing but soil. Okay. So, polar regolith because this particular mission was to land on the south pole. Okay. So, objective was to study the composition of polar regolith. Then, to study the plasma and dust composition in the polar exosphere, lunar polar exosphere. Okay. This lander was expected to work for nearly one year, but unfortunately, it crashed. What is soft landing? So, basically, soft landing refers to the successful landing of spacecraft without suffering any significant damage or impact to either itself or to the payload okay every lander has a payload a kind of uh, in chandrayaan we have a rover with that lander okay to date only three countries have successfully made a soft landing on moon's surface which is uh, on the north pole of the moon surface russia china and the us India is trying to, uh, you know, land on the southern pole. It will be the first time any country landing on southern pole. So, when we talk about this particular soft landing process, we are talking about in reference to Chandrayaan here, just to make you understand what is soft landing. Here you can say, on around 100 kilometers, this lander separates from the propulsion module, uh, the carrier or the vehicle. It separates from that and then starts to, uh, you know, de-boost itself to reduce the velocity. Okay, and then it reads to 30 kilometer altitude, and there it, you know, using the thrusters, Vikram starts uh, reducing its speed further. Okay, here also the speed reduces, and then at around 100 meter, it will, you know, kind of hover above the surface. It will check the surface for any kind of obstructions and all. Once it knows that there is no obstruction, it can land. Then it starts slow descent and after that, touchdown is done. Okay, so that is the process of soft landing. 
why space agencies are struggling with the soft landing obviously it is a very intricate phenomena where you know there are many difficulties let's say the precision the navigation propulsion control systems we are controlling from the earth uh, the velocity controlling the velocity becomes very important here okay Be because we couldn't do that uh, that is why chandrayaan 2 in chandrayaan 2 our lander could not successfully soft land on the surface so it requires a careful balance between descent velocity the velocity with which it is you know approaching the moon engine performance and the surface condition we have to check all these phenomena then sur lunar surface conditions these conditions when we talk about you know on the lunar surface there are many craters or you can say a uh, kind of hollow sphere holes okay and then there are other obstructions as well so that's why it demands a lot of precision in the soft landing maneuver why russia has reached the moon earlier than uh, india obviously uh, russia has used the direct route you can read this i'll tell you how it happened here so when we talk about india since we have you know limited fuel okay and our payload was heavy heavier than russian payload so that's why we used this particular uh, strategy to revolve around the earth and then escape to the lunar orbit and then revolve around moon and then to perform a landing so it is taking no doubt it will take more time okay but it will save fuel on the other hand when we talk about russia russia has taken the direct path to moon okay so that is one of the reason it will reach early second thing is when we talk about landing on moon surface we mostly try to uh, you know kind of uh, reach on lunar day so one lunar day is equal to nearly 14 earth days okay so why we want to land in this particular lunar day only uh, because it will take it will give you a kind of 14 days of 14 days of you know light otherwise we have to uh, operate from this solar panels okay so that kind of saves the energy that's why we try to land when there is a lunar day okay when russia is approaching there it was just before this particular lunar dawn so that's why it uh, you know kind of targeted a earlier descent we have discussed this reasons for luna's crash the reasons are not yet known but mostly roscosmos has said that it is because of the change in the momentum what they has expected and what actually happened the momentum was different that's why this particular uh, issue happened when we talk about isro chandrayaan 2 or bereshit of israel uh, hakuto of japan in these particular cases also there was some kind of malfunction because of which the speed could not reduce and then these particular crashes happen 15 minutes of terror so this phrase was used by our former uh, chairman of isro mr k shivan to define the final phase of landing the last 15 minutes when the landing is about to happen that particular time is referred as 15 minute of terror so here you can see how uh, you know crucial this particular time is and how complex it would be okay so that's all for the discussion let's see the practice question consider the following statement about luna 25 it was launched by nasa it aims to study the plasma and dust components of lunar polar exosphere these are your options you have to choose the correct statement so you can try it at home and answer in the comment box that would be all for this episode. We will see you in the next episode. Till then, have a good day. Thank you.